Hello, this is Kaiden, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to study twice as much in half the time. When we are able to study when we need to and score well in our tests and exams, that is a successful A plus student. But when we can do that in less time, when we can do that with less effort, and still let us have time to engage in our favorite activities which is like playing soccer wow my god this is a slam dunk student all right all right so we all aim to be students like that and be be effective in everything that we do score well in our exams score well in our test and still be able to engage in our favorite activities. Well, enter increasing intensity. This is the key to do it. The skill to work intensely is such a powerful concept that I consider it one of the key things that all parents must teach their children. Because it's going to help them in their school, it's going to help them in their work life, it's going to help them basically live life easier so that's why it's a very powerful concept that i strongly encourage all parents to teach their children so why is it such a powerful concept why is intensity so important to learn well because of one very simple formula work done equals to your time multiplies by intensity so if your intensity goes up your time goes down does that make any sense to you Right. It makes a lot of sense to me because I want to spend less time. I want to spend less time on work so I can have more time for more time for play all right, and do the things I want. So that's why I need to increase my intensity when I'm working. So we are going to dive in this video to show you what is the meaning of study intensely and how you can help your child to achieve this valuable skill and apply it in their schoolwork right now. Well, first of all, I'm going to share with you some common studying scenarios and let me know if you find it familiar, whether your children are doing it or not. Well, most of the time when a test or a exam is coming, the students prepare by cramming and studying for hours and hours a few days before. And sometimes they will study through the night the, the night before the exam or in, before the test the next day. All right, so this is one very common studying scenario. Well, the problem is our brains are not designed for studying and working for hours and hours. Right? When you force your brain to work for so long, what happens is that focus goes down, concentration goes down, and the ability for them to learn even goes down so what they're doing is they're just sitting there trying and trying and hitting using the books to hit them but they are not getting anything in instead we are designed to work in short spurts short time with high intensity instead we are designed to work in spurts work in short spurts of high intensity you can probably predict that if a student works in such a style, he is not going to do very well in his exams and he's going to be very, very tired after his exams as well. So basically, it's actually called pseudo working. This style of working is called pseudo working. Pseudo means not real. So what it means is that this is not real work. Okay, you might think that you're working, but actually you are not. And the biggest problem is, the biggest problem is that most people have studied like this all their life. This is the only way they know how to study. And that's a big problem because they think they're studying, but actually they are not. And they're Well, so how do straight A students actually study? The first thing you must know is that they avoid pseudo studying like crazy and they work intensely. So, they so the big question is, what exactly is working intensely and how do you do it? 
Right? So I'm going to touch on it right now. The first thing you need to know about working intensely is that you have to focus and concentrate at the task that you are doing. You don't have to like focus 100% and be like super intense at it, but at least that's, that, might, that must be the main thing that you are working on at the moment. The second thing is you have to remove all distractions from your environment. And that would include friends, that would include your phone, that would include the TV. Try to, ex try to remove all, make your environment as helpful to help you focus and concentrate as much as possible. The third one is that it must be short. For myself, I'm working in, in one hour blocks and then I'm taking about 20 minute breaks. All right. But if you're just starting out and you, if you have never worked intensely before, you can just start off with like five minutes. Start off with five minutes to see what working intensely is like and then slowly increase your time to, as, to even more. And the last part is this. This is one of the key things on how you can work intensely is that you must plan, plan and plan what you are intending to do. So for me, I spend my first six minutes planning my 60 minutes. All right. So I told you I work in one hour blocks and my first six minutes is actually used to plan the next, well, in a way, the next 54 minutes of work. And that's how I know exactly what I'm going to do in the next minutes, the, the, the next one hour. And that's how I can focus and concentrate. So this is what working intensely is about. And I'm going to share with you in the next video some of the ways, the techniques, the strategies, the tools that I use to work intensely. And you can also share and help your children to work more intensely by applying these tools. So thank you very much. My name is Kaiden and I will see you at the next video.